We finally made it to Japan. If you haven't heard, Japan opened its borders in October, and we jumped at the chance to visit one of our dream destinations. We hopped on a plane as soon as we could, and were lucky enough to see Japan in its true autumnal beauty. We spent 10 days here and tried incredible food, stayed in amazing places, went on a lot of trains, and made new friends along the way. We have so many experiences to share with you, but let's start with Kyoto. We got on the Shinkansen from Tokyo to Kyoto and tried a few 7-Eleven snacks. Once we got to Kyoto, we went straight to our first unique stay of the trip. And our room was as unique as it gets. Ta-da! How amazing is that? So the hotel is called BNA Altar Museum. This room is called Venus Flower Basket by Lulu Kono. Every single room in the hotel is different, so we chose this one because we really like sea themed things. The wall art is amazing. Covering for jet lagged Andrea here, this is what the bathroom looks like. It has a really nice shower, which is almost spa like, and obviously, it comes with a Japanese toilet. We really liked how modern it was, and it contrasted nicely with the bedroom. The room had some nice amenities like robes and a mini fridge, and this fun element on the wall, which I'll explain later. The best part of the room is obviously the wall art, which is absolutely gorgeous. When I was booking it, I didn't notice there were shrimps all over it, which we thought was really cute. When you're checking in, you're told you cannot move the net when you go to bed. You have to get inside the net. You'll have to keep watching to see how that went. You're also not allowed to step on the net. And yeah, if you're clumsy, you have to pay to repair the artwork if it's damaged. But before we get into that, let's have lunch, shall we? If you're looking for a place that serves delicious food for very cheap prices, you need to go to Chao Chao Gyoza. The lunch menus are about a thousand yen and you can try different gyozas and it includes some side dishes as well. The quail eggs are delicious. The vegan options are super tasty too, definitely recommend. After lunch, we decided to head up to Kiyomizodera, on the eastern side of Kyoto, and ended up checking out some shrines along the way. As you walk up to the temple, you won't be able to resist trying some typical Japanese sweets. We tried Ichigo Ame, candied strawberries, mounted on a stick, and we ate the famous emoji, the three-colored dango. And the balls are made of rice flour, similar to mochi. Both the Ichigo Ame and the dango were delicious, and gave us enough strength to face the crowds heading in the same direction as we were. We stopped to admire Sanaizaka, the postcard street of Kyoto. It was absolutely crowded on a Monday afternoon, but it was perfect to people watch. While we were heading back up, we found the Ghibli Studio shop and it took all my willpower to stop me from buying a massive Totoro plushie. If you're a fan of Miyazaki's films, don't forget to go here, you'll love it. We ended up reaching Kiyomizodera, but there was a queue to get in in the actual temple, so we sadly didn't make it in this time. We vowed to stay in the area next time we come to Kyoto, so we can see it without crowds. This is a stunning area to see the changing autumn leaves, and it must be incredible without anyone around. And you'll need at least half a day to explore all the points of interest in the area. It's impossible to see everything in just a couple hours, so make sure you leave enough time to spend here. Just 10 minutes away, there's another Buddhist temple called Yazaka Kochindo, which is probably the most colorful one of the 600 temples of Kyoto. You can write your wish on a ball called Kokurizaru and leave it at the temple. 
We then walked to Kenin-ji, the oldest Zen temple in Kyoto. If you were born in a year of the pig, you should pray here for good luck. Danny then got a bad fortune at Okunonoshi Shrine, so we left it there, as you should do with bad fortunes, and prayed to the god of luck and marriage while I looked at the bunnies outside. We then wandered around Gion and admired Kyoto's beautiful streets at night. beautiful streets in Asia. In Asia? In not Asia, Japan. not just Japan, in Asia. It's called Shinbachidori. We've just got back and we're trying to see how in the world we're going to get in there and sleep soundly without destroying the artwork because we're not supposed to move it we're supposed to go inside the net also we're realizing how it's not really made for people to stay for a long time it's just one night at most and there's basically no space for luggage or anything so all of our stuff is on the floor and this is what the table looks like because we have no space to put anything unless we put it on the floor but yeah it's very cool it's a very cool room and the shower is amazing but yeah bear that in mind if you want to stay here well especially in this room yeah. because I don't, I'm not sure about the other ones not sure about the other ones it's also really hard to move around. Look, you literally cannot walk around because of the net. So let's not kill yourself. Chaotic energy incoming. I'm just sitting here, barbecue sauce on my titties, <laughs> and just wondering, what about functionality? You know, because I would like to have a bedside table to put my phone to charge. And the charging point that I could actually access without having to step on the artwork. <laughs> and being afraid of ripping it apart and then I have to pay I don't know much because I ripped the artwork apart. So if you look at the bed, we're supposed to sleep in there, right? Yeah. How is that How going to work? I'm going to sleep in there with nets on my face. I'm curious. Beautiful artwork, yes, but what about everything else? Hmm? We bought some things from 7 Eleven, we're going to have dinner. But I'm going to sit on the floor because I don't have enough space to sit here and have a meal. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and I need to be worried. Am I going to spray something on the wall? <laughs> I'll, put it, so, I'll put it in the onigiri. I'll put it in the onigiri. I'm Some tuna mayo on the wall. On the wall. <laughs> like there's a room that we saw on Monday. It's like full darkness. Yeah. Literally all black. You cannot see anything. There was a lady that wrote this really funny review on that. I think it was on Google. Yeah. That she complained that she lost her beanie and a couple of socks because she couldn't find it in the darkness. Right? Like, yes. That's a nice one, right? I will tell you tomorrow morning how the night went. So... We'll see. And tomorrow we're going to a really cool place in the morning. We're going to do a really nice activity. And we're mm. going to stay in a really awesome house. That's actually made for people to stay in. Yeah, more than one, this more is, than one person. So. And this is the thing about this hotel. It's a hotel, but it wasn't really made for people to stay in. One, you can't wear shoes inside. Two, you can't touch the walls. Danny, you just touched the wall! No, he was actually leaning on it accidentally. <laughs> Not accidentally, I was trying to reach the plug. So... This is a Venus flower basket coral. I think that's it. But it's made of fabric, basically. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty cool. Where's the stream? 
focus with a cute shrimp. And now it's time to go to bed. Sleepy V is trying out to bed before we do. We made it and we didn't destroy anything. It was complicated. We did it. And it was really hard to sleep so tight with someone, but well. Now let's go out. The sun is rising and we're going to the Arashayama bamboo forest. <laughs> 